There may be times when you're running your query or viewing it in the datasheet view where you come across duplicate records that you want to omit from the output of your query. For example, here I have my customer orders query in the design view based upon these three tables and from some of these tables I've added down below the fields customer name, book title, and sales date or the transaction date. So when I view my query, click on the view button here, you can see I have the customers here and they're listed several times, duplicates, because they're repeating customers. In fact, some of the customers like the Disney company here Let's take a look at this one, landscaping. They purchased it on this transaction date, September the 1st, and then a little bit earlier on the same book on March the 20th. Now, in and of itself, it's not a duplicate record because of this field here. This field gives it a uniqueness for these records because of the different transaction dates. But if I get rid of this, let me go back to the design view and click at the top little gray bar of this column here so it selects the whole column. Then I can hit the delete key on the keyboard to get rid of it, and I go back and view you can see it looks more like duplicate records here because I have no um, additional field that uniquely identifies this record so for example again the Disney company we have landscaping like the pros listed once and twice well if I want to create a query that I just want to know if they actually purchased it instead of having to go through and see the same thing over and over again I just want to know did they purchase landscaping pro like the pros or not then I want to get rid of the duplicates here and just have one listed here okay so to do that I want to go back to my design view and bring up my property sheet here and I can either come up here on the design tab to the show high group and click on properties or just right click up at the top here in this kind of bluish area and then come down and left click on properties now make sure that when you have the property sheet up that you have it selected the properties for the whole of the query and not just one of the fields down below or some other part of the grid here click in the upper top part of that design query anywhere in that bluish gray area so you can get the property sheet for the query itself and again it's the query properties because what I'm looking at here are the unique values and I guess we could talk about the unique records first of all unique values is when I double click on it, it turns to yes it's going to emit records with duplicate fields placed in the design grid of the query so it's talking about whatever fields I use in the design grid here if there's duplicates like we saw Disney company landscaping Disney company landscaping it'll emit the duplicate just have one listed as opposed to unique records if I double click on that Notice when I double click and I change it to yes, the other one flips to no. You can only use one or the other. The other one's going to be no and the other one's going to be yes or both of them will be no. You only want to use the unique record when you don't want to see duplicate records that exist in an underlying data source displayed in the output, not just what you see down here in the grid. So again, the difference is unique values is what you have down the grid that you just want to keep those unique in the data output versus the unique records, which is fields that you don't have down below in the grid that are in the tables as you see up above that may have duplicate records or come across duplicate records that you wish to emit. So I'll come up here and I'll say double click yes to unique values, close the property sheet, go ahead and click on the view button, and then the Disney company should only have landscaping like the pros listed once. Now again, I had to get rid of that third field here because that gave it that record a unique value because of the different transaction dates. So if I go back to the design view and I bring that field up again, double click on sales date even though I have my property sheet when I bring it up again I have to click up here in the top gray area to get the query properties even though I have it set to yes when I go ahead and click on the view button because that extra field here identifies it as a unique record then I've got landscaping like the pros because it's March 20th and then again on September the 1st so be sure you get rid of those unique identifier fields unless it's something that's important to you and in that case then no you're gonna have duplicates here as far as the book title and customer name goes otherwise if you're seeing double and there's no unique field here then go back to the property sheet and turn the unique values field to yes thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel get notified of the latest videos and for only two dollars a month you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos